All right, I want to go over cut fragrances. Okay, everybody calls and says, is this fragrance straight, super strong, the best on the market? I don't want anything cut. Okay. If a fragrance is made for soap, it has to have cut. If it's going into a candle, it has to have cut. If it's an air freshener, it has to have cut. If it's a perfume, you guessed it, it has to have cut. For a fragrance to be able to go into a soap bar, it has to have a carrier oil in it. A carrier oil is cut. If you put a straight fragrance in a soap bar, it'll bleed right out. You'll grab the soap bar and there'll just be some oil slick on the top of it and it won't even go into the product. It has to have some cut. What you're looking for is a limited amount of cuts. Okay, a candle has to have a carrier oil. The fragrance itself will just leach out of the wax and then the first time you light it, all the fragrance will go straight up and it won't have any odor after that. It has to have carrier oil solvent. It has to have cut. Air fresheners. Air fresheners you can make super strong. Again, they still have to have a little cut. The fragrance by itself will not go out of the sprayer depending on what is in it. Um, let's take, for example, an Egyptian musk. Egyptian musk is very thick in nature. You have to add a carrier oil so it'll actually go out of the sprayer. So there's a lot of times where cut is involved. Perfume, fine fragrances. You can definitely make a fragrance with no cut. Absolutely. I could make some wonderful two, three hundred dollar a pound fragrances. I could make Gucci so strong your eyes would water for a week. Here's the problem. You can't put that on your skin. You'll put that on your skin and you'll have a big red circle where it touched your skin. They have to be cut. It has to be a certain percentage. So a very high end perfume is cut with alcohol. That's a cut. Air fresheners. Cut. Right? I think a lot of people get misled when, oh, you cut your fragrances. We're a manufacturer. We're making it as strong as you possibly can get it, but yes, it's cut. I'll give you an example. I would like a vanilla, and I would want it uncut. It's powder. There's nothing in it. How are you going to actually work with powder? This is uncut. You will never buy a vanilla fragrance from us that's a chunk of powder. It's not going to happen. So everything has a little bit of cut in it. Why? Because we need to get it to work in your products. We need to know what you want, and we're going to make this the smallest amount of cut that we possibly can. So let's say a soap fragrance, as strong as we can possibly make it. Well, maybe we'll have 10% of a carrier oil in there. A candle, maybe 20% of a carrier oil in there. Air freshener, maybe 10 to 15 percent, you know. Perfume, yeah, maybe 10 to 15 percent. Carrier oil, they have to have carrier oils in it. Now we can limit it and we can keep it to very low numbers, but that's the nature of the beast. You're not going to get something uncut. The other thing you have to look at is, is there a fragrance that is super strong that I can get uncut so I can add the cut? Yes, I'll sell you powder. You're not going to be able to do anything with it. That doesn't make any sense on our end on the manufacturing side. We want to sell you the strongest fragrance that we possibly can, but the nature of the beast, there is a little bit of cut in the fragrance.